Hi everyone, Steve Kim here from Royal Le Page. Just so excited, so energetic. Uh, I wanted to let everyone know that I'm starting a new show called The Steve Kim Show. It's episode number one, so I'm pretty jazzed and, uh, and ready to go. So the first thing I wanted to cover uh, on my very first show is a market watch, a market update. What's really been happening in Toronto uh, and York Region uh, for the month of November? So I have the numbers. So I did, uh, I'm a numbers guy. So I'm always going through charts and statistics, paying attention to what's been kind of happening uh, in and around Toronto and the GTA. And you know what? It shouldn't be a secret. This should be public knowledge. So this very first video, I'm coming at you with all the numbers, things that um, you should know to be kind of better prepared, whether you're looking to buy, whether you're looking to sell, or you're just kind of the average Joe, just being like, what's going on in the market right now? So here up on the, the whiteboard, I've broken it up into Toronto, York Region. So these are total sales um, for every residential property. So we're talking condos, links, detached, semi, townhomes, all of that stuff. And then on the, the, the far right side here, I've broken it down um, based on the two geographic regions, Toronto and York Region but primarily looking at just detached homes. So let's go through the numbers, because I'm a numbers guy, uh, so follow along. So in Toronto, the number of sales for the month of November, we had 2,978 total sales. Currently, 5,430 active listings for the month of November. Months of inventory. This is something that um, a lot of people, I would say the general knowledge, uh, sorry, the general population, they don't really know what really MOI or months of inventory really are. And as realtors, this is something we have to educate you on because I'm going to be honest, this is the number that I look at. I don't really look at kind of the average price uh, to kind of determine, you know, where there's a good deal, what geographic location I want my buyers to get into uh, because you know what? It's just going to be the, the better bang for your buck. Um, or as a seller, we got to really pay attention to kind of months of inventory because at the end of the day, um, it's supply and demand. And we all know um, the lower the supply, which happened kind of uh, January, February, March uh, of earlier of this year, crazy demand. We're talking homes were selling in like seven minutes with like 180 offers. It was going a million five hundred uh, percent over asking price. Just absolutely ludicrous. Uh, and you know what I know? That's We can't sustain that. And to be honest, um, I'm happy that we've seen a bit of a market correction um, and you know, the sellers are like, you know, that, that's crazy, Steve. I can't believe you're telling me that my house is, uh, it's dropped so much in value, but really at the end of the day, we're, we're kind of where we need to be. We're stable, right? So buyers have time. Sellers expectations are, are, are kind of even keel, right? So, you know, I, I was, I got a phone call. Uh, I remember back in March, uh, this guy out in Markham, he had sold his house, four bedroom detached home. He got $1.6 million for it. Um, the neighbor called me two days later. It was like, hey, Steve, I want you to come give me a market evaluation of the house. I said, wonderful. And the question I, I always ask is, what do you think your house is worth? He's like, $1.8 million. And I'm like, well, how did you come up with that number? He's like, well, my neighbor just sold for $1.6 million. So I'm assuming because it's crazy demand right now, I'm just going to add, add an extra 200000 to the price of my house in less than a week. To be honest, his house sold. So... We can't sustain that. We th That's a completely uh, unbalanced market. We're more kind of where we need to be. This is a balanced market. So let's get back to the numbers. York Region. Total number of sales for all housing tape uh, types for the month of November, 1,027. Out of the active listings, 4,756. The months of inventory, 4.6 months of inventory. <laughs> Take a look at that. So from Toronto to York Region for the month of November, 1.8 months of inventory, 4.6 months of inventory. So let me kind of back up because I think I forgot to mention what really months of inventory are. So 1.8 months of inventory, what that really means is every single housing type in Toronto, I would be able to satisfy a buyer getting into whatever residential property they want to get into in 1.8 months. So that's really not a lot of time. We switch over to York Region, right? The 905, right? Um, just above the six. We have 4.6 months of inventory. So I took all the buyers in York Region. I would be able to get them into a house in about 4.6 months. I'd be able to satisfy their housing needs in 4.6 months. So the question is, Steve, what's a balanced market? Really, you, I can read this article, I could hear from this pro, that agent, whatever. I'm going to be honest, we're probably looking around five months of inventory. That's really kind of where we see 
um, things to kind of be more balanced in terms of buyers having time and sellers, you know, really giving them time as well to kind of understand the market and their expectations, so on and so forth. So you'll notice the difference in the average sale price. So in Toronto, out of all residential properties, again, detached, semis, condos, we're looking at an average sale price of just over 800,000. We move into the 905 York region, we see that price jump up to 921,000, all right? So moving over to the other side of the board, I've broken down the two geographic locations based on housing types. So here we have detached. In Toronto, total number of sales for detached homes, 812 for November, 2017. The active li listings, 2,143. Months of inventory, 2.6 months of inventory. And the average detached home price for the month of November in Toronto was around $1.276 million, all right? We move over to York Region, we see the total number of sales being 524, the active listings of 3,202, our months of inventory, whoa, 6.1 months of inventory. So I said, balanced market, we're about five months of inventory. If we're now six months of inventory for a detached home in York Region, Yes, that's a buyer's market. Yes, buyers have a lot of time. Yes, buyers have a lot of choice. Sellers are sitting frantically being like, oh my gosh, my house didn't sell in seven minutes. What's going on? I don't see 85 cars in my driveway. Something must be wrong. No, it's just that the, there's, a, there's a larger supply. And with a larger supply, supply, sorry, people are gonna be patient. They now can choose, right? Uh, they have time to kind of visit seven, eight, nine, ten 10 properties as opposed to almost, you know, some properties being, or some buyers purchasing something sight unseen, which is crazy. And then we take a look at the average sales price between detached homes in Toronto and York Region. York Region, we're just under that $1.2 million mark. So hopefully um, I didn't go, I didn't ramble too much um, and you were able to kind of follow along um, through the numbers. Um, any questions you have, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear some of your comments, your questions as well. I'm always looking for kind of inspiration for my next show. Uh, again, I'm super jazzed. This is episode number one of the Steve Kim Show. I, I want to wish everyone a happy holiday. Uh, please spend, uh, take this opportunity to spend some quality time with your family. Um, and you know me, I'm a big proponent of paying it forward. Uh, if you have a spare, you know, hour, a spare afternoon, Go visit a local charity, help out where you can, um, because let's be honest, us living where we live, we have so much to be thankful for. Anyways, I wish you a wonderful rest of the week, a happy holidays, a wonderful new year, and stay tuned for episode number two, beginning of January. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.